Hey everyone, my name is Curtis Tingle. Uh, I'm a metrology engineer at BMW here in the upstate. Um, kind of how I got to BMW, I did undergrad at Appalachian State, study math and physics there. Um, I then came to Clemson and studied automotive engineering, which is where I did an internship with BMW. Um, first internship there was with the body shop and then the second internship was with um, the analysis center. So actually tearing cars apart, understanding how they were working together. Um, if we we're having issues on the cars um, and doing analysis on that. Um, and then I got hired on and did a rotational program of three rotations of eight months each. My first rotation was as a supplier quality engineer. You were responsible for indiv individual parts on the car. Um, and then, so you were at the plant and then also at the supplier's facility, ensuring the quality of the parts coming into the plant. And then my second rotation was actually out on the shop floor and responsible for content of us as BMW putting uh, parts on the car, making sure that we were building uh, a quality car there. Um, after that, I uh, placed out, went back to the analysis center, which is where I did my uh, second internship, um, just working on geometric issues on the car itself there. And then after that, I moved into my current position now, which is where I'm a metrology engineer, uh, not meteorology. So we don't talk about the weather. We talk about metrology, which is the science of measurement. So for our department, we measure all of the, the uh, bodies before they get sent to the paint shop. Um, so we measure all the cars with uh, lasers or structured light, which is kind of cool, I think. Um, actually taking uh, laser measurements of different checkpoints in the process and actually being able to pull cars off and then you can create scans. Um, and then what we're doing with that data is then overlaying it back to, to CAD and seeing how the what we're producing relates to um, actual CAD and where we have deviations to, to work on those problems. Um, let's see. So my current job now, did I think I would be here in metrology? No, because even in the beginning, uh, I knew I wanted to work with cars. I'd always loved cars and, and how things went together. Growing up, I always loved Legos. I've worked on you know, cars and dirt bikes and taking those apart and putting them back together was always a fun thing for me. Um, so I knew I always wanted to work with cars. Um, I didn't know specifically what I wanted to do. Um, and then when I came to do uh, graduate school at Clemson for automotive engineering, it's kind of where I, I understood um, my background of applied physics in undergrad and then applied statistics um, in a manufacturing sense really, really made sense to me. Um, which is where our department currently um, plays a huge role in the quality of the cars. So we're doing statistical process control on, um, it's about 4,000 points that we measure on a car before we send it to the paint shop. And then this is anything and everything on the car. It's uh, studs, holes, slots, where we're mating other uh, parts to. And we're just ma ma making sure that we're sending a good um, quality car to our customer. Um, so what that looks like for me, um, on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, that can be either kind of managing a group of metrologists who are, who are doing, um, daily analysis work or actually going in and doing some planning to see what type of technology would make sense in different areas in the line. So it's, it's very different day-to-day. -day. I don't have a pure, this is what my day looks like every day. There are a lot of hands-on uh, days where I actually get to be in a station or or measuring something, programming something behind a desk is, is fun as well. Uh, we actually do a lot of CAD work. Um, so with the data that we acquire, overlaying that to nominal CAD and seeing how the part relates to nominal CAD, I think is a, is a really interesting tool um, that we do. If you can kind of picture a topographical map that kind of gives you the ge geography layout um, of a given area, kind of the highs and lows of here's a mountain, here's a valley. We're doing that same thing with, with a car. So the surface um, of a car, highs and lows of, of where that is. And then also we're relating um, positional um, information back to a given stud, hole, slot on the, on the car to uh, dimensional engineers who are using that, that information to go make adjustments in, in the stations. Um, the best part of my job, I would say, is because every day isn't the same. I do like the change of pace. I do like uh, getting to have my hands on the car, um, analyzing problems, looking at data, 
that way, but I also enjoy the kind of the behind the desk computer work, um, deep diving into CAD of this is what it is before it gets to us, um, before we even see physical parts on the car, understanding how this is ultimately gonna fit together. And then once the car gets to us, this is how it actually is fitting together. This is where we have slight deviations in the car um, and we need to make some adjustments to that. So I, I would say the best part about, about my job is no day is exactly the same. So I think that's a, a fun, um, a fun thing with it. Um, hardest part about my job, I would say, are um, working with people. Uh, any job that you have, you're going to work with people. But I think um, in our job specifically, if you're analyzing a problem and you come up with um, some solutions and then you get a lot of pushback or people who are not willing to, to make some changes or um, just want to be all in for um, solving problems or so that's kind of the, the challenge challenge with my job. Um, let's see. Another part of my job that I really enjoy um, is teaching. So I get to teach a dimensional class um, where we go over how to read measurement reports, how we measure the cars, um, how uh, really kind of the theory of how, how we design parts of um, understanding the design of design for manufacturing. Um, I think that's some of the courses that are offered there. I would highly recommend uh, taking courses like that. Um, but that's one of the things, one of the things that I really enjoy is uh, teaching uh, people how to read measurement reports, understanding data and statistics, and kind of how all that math comes together for, for us um, in terms of building cars. Uh, one thing with my job is I don't traveled that much. Um, but one of the cool things recently that I got to do was I went to um, one of our plants in South Africa and I taught that same course there, uh, which was really cool just to see um, BMW as a, as a global company um, and how we, use, how we use data, how we analyze problems and really kind of helping them, them out with some of the, the techniques that we, that we use here. So that was a really rewarding trip, um, challenging trip, but uh, ultimately a, a fun trip um, all in all. Um, let's see. So what are my long-term career goals? I think kind of to tack onto that teaching, um, aspect, I think I, w I like, I love my job now. The, the fun part of it is analyzing problems and the statistics and making things better, um, and consistently getting better with every, um, new car that comes out, I think is always taking lessons that we've learned from previous models and being able to apply them. Um, to the, the future models that are coming out is really rewarding to me. Um, I'm, I really like that continual improvement um, mindset. So um, I think that long term, I would like to be where I, where I am, uh, maybe move around a little bit um, within the company. Um, but long term, I think I would like to be um, a professor in, in teaching, um, just kind of taking real world applications from a manufacturing environment and, and being able to um, bring that to an academic setting, I think would be a, a really rewarding, um, ultimate career goal and kind of how I'd like to, where I see my career path moving towards, um, in a, in a longer sense, I would think. Uh, what advice would you give to students in finding a career that they love? Um, I would say really, I think I loved math and physics in um, high school, I think that what I wish I would have done a little bit differently, so I guess my advice in this is I wish I would have done more of welding and CAD and a little more hands-on technical um, type of courses there just to kind of get some some traits and some some trade skills under my, under my belt that, um, because I think the kind of bridging the gap between a um, academic theoretical world and then a hands-on practical this is how things go together I think that's kind of an invaluable thing in terms of students who are looking for anything related to science technology engineering and math um, so I, I would really try to you know get hands-on with some courses that you have available to you or you know do an internship something that will put you in a place where it's maybe a little uncomfortable um, but really you can take what you're learning um, in your academics and, and be able to apply that.
Uh, let's see, what advice would you give students for an interview? Um, for this one, I would probably say, um, understand, so one, step one is read, be very, very clear of what type of job um, the employer is looking for, and then kind of tailor your resume um, to that, and then understanding where you um, excel, be able to highlight that and tailor it to, to their job posting for um, that specific employer. Um, another thing is I would say, um, do your research on the company. Companies always, uh, or in interviews, they, you will always get asked, um, what, do you have any questions for us? And I think doing your research on the company itself is a, is a valuable thing because one, it shows interest in the company that you've done your homework and you really want to work there. Um, so it's showing interest in, um, the company itself, but then it also gives you an opportunity to see, is this really somewhere where I want to work? Um, so ask some questions about, about the company. Um, and then what is the job outlook for my profession? Um, so kind of the metrology world, uh, is a, it's a fun one. Um, in the sense of we do get to go to, um, some trade shows. I've been to Germany to some trade shows there to evaluate some equipment and see what's coming out. Um, but kind of the long-term outlook for our profession and kind of the freedom that we've been given um, in our department is we, we want to be on the cutting edge of, um, of, of technology. So taking advanced uh, statistics and measurement methods and bringing that into our plant, really being able to um, kind of set the standards for what it looks like to, to measure cars, to be able to provide data to um, quality engineers. So um, I think that's all I've got. So thank you all for your time. I appreciate you watching. And best of luck to y'all.